Today's session, we are going to understand one special term called asymptotic analysis. This is one of the most fearful term I see among the people or developers here because they didn't understand it properly. Here. Let's get so the direct contact with this. What is the meaning of asymptotic analysis? Why should we need this first of all? Let me write the terminology here. We call it as asymptotic analysis. So whom should we analyze basically? The analysis we are always doing for algorithms. We know that from previous sessions, we analyze algorithms to really, you know, to filter out the very time consuming algorithms before even going for coding. That's one of the biggest advantages of algorithm analysis. Without really worrying about a specific hardware and you know, specific operating system and specific language, we could analyze algorithms. But while doing such analysis now, what is the importance or need of this asymptotic analysis here? That's where, let's take an example. Let's say, for any algorithm, we have two dimensions here. Let's call this as time dimension and also space dimension. Let's say, we got an algorithm one. Algorithm one. The time of this, let's say, I write it up as 2n square plus 50n plus let's say 100 operations. Space I write it as n plus let's say 50 units in a way. That's one more algorithm and if you really count the operations here, it is taking up 3n cube plus 5n square plus let's say 5n plus 100 operations. Space it may take it up as n square plus n plus 100 units. This is how you normally analyze algorithms. The steps of the algorithm, if you keep on counting up, adding it out here, the low level operations might give this kind of functions anyway, both time dimension as well as space dimension. This is what you have done till this point of time. And we do because we want to filter out quickly, so useless algorithms here, so before really going for coding here. But if you want to communicate this kind of a, a functions to, you know, for other people in the community, how do I communicate? We should tell that my algorithm takes 2n square plus 50n plus 10, 100 operations. The other guy will say that my algorithm takes 5n square plus 100n plus some 200 operations here. If you want to communicate algorithm to other people in the community here, again, I have to really use it up this way. So 3n cube plus 5n square plus 5n plus 100 operations, my algorithm is taking up. So this is the biggest pain to communicate this kind of, you know, very uh, complex functions here. So when you really analyze algorithms now, is there any way I can able to, we can able to simplify what they call this kind of uh, functions, both for time and both for space. They're definitely helpful to all of us to communicate things so easily. How do you, how do you really do that? One approach is this. So let me write the approach one here. In approach one, what people do here? They take this expression 2n square plus 50n plus 100. They cancel out these two. They tell that our program takes approximately 2n square operations. So, so what the meaning of this cancellation is here? You should not cancel out some of the operations you are doing, you know, taken by the algorithm. This is completely a meaningless approach here. So by cancel outing means you are not really taking those algorithm steps now. How can algorithm are analyzing it out here? This is incorrect approach. If you take the other one, again, I see a lot of people do this. 5n square plus 5n plus 100. Now approximately it takes n cube here. They cancel out all of this and they really tell that the dominating term is 3n cube. So dominating term taking means so people will just cancel blindly anyway. You are losing the intent of this algorithm complexity when you really do cancellations and everything. So that's where, so while really doing this kind of things here, it's completely losing the intent of the whole functions and everything. That's why this kind of approach completely is incorrect approach to simplify this kind of functions. We need more what they call logical and logical approach without losing the intent. How can you, you know, simplify it? That approach, we call it as approach two. Let me write this approach two here approach to is going to be an asymptotic approach.
if you want to just call this approach here people I can use the call cancellation approach this is completely meaningless but what do you know asymptotic approach the meaning of asymptotic is going to be always when n is approaching infinity the meaning of the symbol is n approaches it never be infinity but n goes to very very large value means size of the input of the algorithm goes to very very large what is the behavior of this algorithm means this function can be simplified to what or this function behavior can simplify to what other simplified function that means we are trying to really give up a other alternative function which can able to what they call give the give the equivalence of this behavior for large values of n what function is uh, you know can be used up in place of this complex function for large values of n if you can discover that that makes more sensible approach that's why when asymptotic analysis means here for large large values only we are interested about efficient algorithms that's why when n tends to infinity how can really get a better alternatives is the most important aspect that's why in most of the algorithm books now you always see that they give you asymptotic approach but we do not know what is the meaning of n approaches to infinity here let's let's get the intuition behind what do you mean by n tends to infinity here then we try to see the simplifications for this kind of a functions let's move on to the visualization to understand asymptotic meaning here 